Hey everyone, Mark here from a Nerd Name Mark podcast. I'm doing another review. It's delayed. Um, I worked seven days in a row, so that's why there hasn't been really anything new on the YouTube channel in the last like six days. Uh, for those of you who are listening, this review is also now on the podcast audio RSS feed for a Nerd Name Mark reviews. And I just want a quick sidebar. Thank you to everyone who's listening. Uh, Obviously, I was doing the video reviews, then I was like, well, let me rip the audio from these and put them on my review podcast so I don't have to, you know, record a second review, which made no sense because I'm just going to be repeating myself. And it's not like I'm using any visual aids to an extent for the video version. So I was like, nope, not needed. And sorry, there's glares for those of you who are watching. And so my main thing was, okay, uh, you know, the video, right off the bat, let me just thank the YouTube watchers. My highest viewed review video so far was for Zen Kyger episode one. This is obviously a review video for episode two, which is entitled The Roaring Beast is Troublesome or The Gao Beast is Troublesome. One of those two is the title of it. I already forgot. And with that, I was like, OK, I'm going to do another one and I'm going to just going to pull the audio from it. We're going to put it on the RSS feed because also the audio version for those of you who are listening right now or even watching. Thank you for downloading and listening to the audio ones because the Dino Fury episodes, the Superman and Lois, and the Zenkai episode, they're, the numbers are actually really good. I was really shocked because I was like, oh, you know, doing a second part podcast RSS feed just for reviews because I hate spoiling things for people. And with the main podcast, I try to avoid that. So right off the bat, thank you guys for the support, both listening, viewing. I appreciate it. It kind of helps me um not justify but it kind of solidifies my own self-doubt that you know yes i should be doing this because people are listening and watching so i was like okay you know the slump of me like self-doubting is gone with that being said wow so when it comes to zen Kyger and super sentai like i said in the first video in the first episode review i not, never really was a super sentai fan i and I hate, I know a lot of people hate this comparison, especially if you're a Super Sentai fan. I was mainly a Power Ranger fan. But then again, I haven't watched Power Rangers in 17 years, if not longer, which Dino Fury is the first series I'm watching as they air. There's no episode, obviously, this past week, but we did get Zen Kyger episode two. The review, this video is actually a couple days after it aired because I was not around. I was working. And I didn't even get to watch it, honestly, until late last night. And then the Snyder Cut was coming out. And I was like, okay, let me get Zen Kiger. Let me get that. Let me watch it. I need to. I need to catch up on. I need to see what's going on. Because we're like three days away from the next episode. So right off the bat, spoilers. There are spoilers for this, okay? And you've been warned. If you haven't seen the episode yet and you, you're trying to watch a review without spoilers, this isn't it. I'm spoiling it 100%. So, uh, right off the bat, Gaon, Gaon is my favorite character now. Um, anyone who knows me or have seen the videos or this and that, um, I like animals. I have the kitten. We have an older cat. I grew up on a farm in a farm town, and I had dogs, cats, various other pets. So, I love animals. And Gaon is the same way. It's like they just, anything that's cute. Like, the whole entire thing leading up to everything is they saw a dog. They were trying to go pet it. Dog barked, backed away. All they wanted to do was just be friends with cute animals. And I love that. And the monster of the week is the mushroom monster, shroom monster, with the mushroom topia world gear, like the Toji Tendo like gear thing that they're trapping all the worlds in. This one's a mushroom world. So that's the villain of the week. Um My main thing I got. And I'm not going in chronological order of the episode. This is just a review, so I'm just going to... It's basically a discussion, okay? So the main thing I got from this is we have the Sentai Gears and, you know, Zuren, uh, Kato, Gaon now. They use those to morph in Henshin. And then we have the Toji Tendo made gears that have all the worlds in them, but we're starting to realize they have powers too. It's not just the monster, because... There was a scene after they de defeated the monster and the mushrooms disappeared that one of the Toji Tendo, like, taller mech monsters stepped on the gear and absorbed its power and became a larger mushroom monster, as well as larger mushrooms just went all over the world. So 
I'm starting to get this like thing where it's like, okay, we have two different gear sets now. We have the Sentai gears that I believe his name's Kato. I already forgot, and I apologize. His parents made the Sentai gears, and then we have the weird little mech monster that's like kind of like the underling of for Toji Tendo. He's saying he made these gears that they're traveling the worlds in, and then he's sitting there saying, "No, my parents made these." So now I'm thinking, we're there's like even though. It's just a sentence. It's kind of one of those things where you're like, all right, does this mean that there's some correlation between the two? Because his parents have been missing, gone, and for what, a decade? And they've been, you know, they were studying the different parallel worlds. They discovered all the Sentai worlds. That's how they made the gears. So now I feel like there's some sort of, you know, there's definitely something going on there. They, It's not a coincidence. Um. I like the humor and I'm usually not the person who wants like a bunch of humor in my shows unless it's a comedy show, but go on kind of had like that cool balance for the comedy that I enjoyed where it's like, you know, constantly go Kato, be like, Oh, can we be friends? It's not, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a Zen Kaiser. You know, I just want to be friends. And then he's like, okay, I'll be your friend. And he's all happy, completely ignoring Zurin a hundred percent, even though they're the same robot race, Android race and everything else, just ignoring all of them. Only wants cute, cuddly things, and that's what Earth offers them <laughs> to to enjoy. And uh, my favorite scene, and it's just like the first scene, when Zuren got handed his Geertlinger, he just instantly shot it and took out one of the little underling minions, and Gaon did the same thing. They had, it's like, and then bang, shot instantly. And I was like, okay, is this a running gag that like they're just like instantly shooting the second they get it? Because... I love that. That's like, it, it's that, that kind of humor. I'm like, all right, this is funny. We also got um, the first real like form of a Zord in this one with Gaon and Zurin, their Zord forms combining. It was kind of cool because, you know, Ken, uh, Senkaiser just be flipped over his coin thinking and shot up thinking he was going to become big. And the next thing you know, it's like, nope. They were combining. We got the lion and the T-Rex, like, incidentally kissing. <laughs> Their swords kissed. And I was just like, okay, this is funny and entertaining. And then they didn't want to work together at all. So the Zord was actually splitting apart, like, mid-battle. I will say this. Um, as someone who's not familiar with Super Sentai, is the CG always that good for the Zord battles? Because that was, like, that was really like high quality high budget cg like i was genuinely shocked like i rewatched the fight because i was like this is this looks really good like i'm really impressed like this this really got me like how like good it looked and instantly i went on amazon japan and i was like you know what let me just uh let me just see what they cost let me just let me just dabble and see the price. And then thanks to Amazon Japan, you go to check out this night, tells you the price in English. I have my cart ready to go. Uh, I haven't pulled the trigger yet. I'm, I'm want to, but yeah, it's back to the episode. Um, there's a lot going on. Like, I kind of like that. It didn't seem like there was a time gap between the episodes. Cause you know, like with, I'm used to some shows where it's like, you know, there's an order to them. Like, obviously, a chronological order of the episodes, but it kind of seems like any amount of time could really pass between all the episodes unless it's, like, a part one, part two type. But this one really seemed like it was a continuation of the first one. Kind of like when you watch, like, a Netflix show or Amazon Prime show where it's, like, eight, nine episodes, but, like, they all lead into each other and it's, like, very... There's not, like, huge time gaps unless it's, like, a flashback or a jump forward. This episode two seemed like it just picked up right where one left off. Maybe couple hours maybe a day difference and i was like okay i kind of like that that's actually really cool that the like like i said i'm you know new to super sentai so i don't know the formula or the trends or the tropes they go along with but i will say the scenes when they do the action scenes when he puts the gear in and shoots it forward and then a previous sentai team pops up i believe this episode had her Kinger, Hurricaneer. Sorry if I butchered the name. Like I'm learning, and I was like, it was all ninjas, which I assume was like I think in the U.S. for Power Rangers it was Ninja Storm, maybe. 
I don't know. I didn't watch Ninja Storm, but I just know because of all the toys and stuff. I always, you know, I'm a collector of toys. Even if I don't collect that, those Power Ranger ones, I see them on the shelves when they were around. And I still kept up with what Power Ranger seasons were. I just didn't watch them. So I believe that was Ninja Storm slash Her Kanger. And my favorite thing is, one, that sequence, the filming style, this and that, amazing. They were cutting through, like, behind the, like, the bamboo sliding doors. And I was like, okay. But my main thing about this is, though, they feature, I don't know if this is going to be every episode, they're featuring a different show. Like, the, earlier on, they used some, I think it was, I don't think it was Go Ranger, Ronger, or something. It was, and they had ribbons. But they're featuring one or two previous seasons. So, for me, I'm, like, taking notes because I'm like, okay, that attack looked really cool. I kind of want to go check the Super Sentai season out. So it's kind of one of those things like I saw a tweet where someone said, if you haven't watched any Super Sentai, you won't enjoy Zenkiger. And I'm like, really? Like, because I haven't <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. And if anything, this is kind of giving me like a snippet, like a little snack bite of each previous season for me to take a note. Be like, OK, this is a season I want to watch that intrigued me. I want to know more. And. So, yeah, that's that's my opinion anyways, as someone who doesn't watch Super Sentai. But I can't say that anymore because I do watch Super Sentai now because I'm actually right now going through uh, Rio Solger, I believe it's pronounced, which is the American, the Super Sentai version of Power Rangers Dino Fury. And then after that, I am going to be watching something called Caramonger. Um, I got the whole season of that and I was told, hey, you definitely want to re- watch this. This one is actually really good. It was last season check it out so i was like all right i'm gonna check it out because the super sentai community is really nice to me since i joined this community and on social media and this and that because i've always been a part of the ultraman and common rider scene on like facebook groups and you know reddit but the super sentai community really friendly and just being like hey you want to check this out hey if you like that you like this what do you like for common rider what do you like for ultraman okay here's something that you would like for Super Sentai, because I'm always open to suggestions. So if you have suggestions on what I should check out for Super Sentai, please let me know in the comments below, because I will check it out. I have, I don't have infinite free time, but I don't do much in my free time, so I'm okay with that. Um, back to the episode. That was just a little sidebar. Um, the Zord, like I said, the CG and the battle for the Zord fight and the snap, so good. I was like, wow, this is that that really is what sold me. And because I'm like I said, I'm used to like. You know, Ultraman, Common Rider, Common Rider, like other than CG for the Henshin and some of their super attacks, like there's not really a lot of it's not CG heavy that much. And Super Sentai, like they the CG and Zen Tiger is so good, and I just I really enjoy it. And I, I'm trying to like figure out what to talk about the episode. I literally just finished watching it like a couple hours ago, and then I had to do some things. And I just uh, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to kill time. I'm just trying to figure out how to put into words. Like, I think it's been so long since I've watched like a Power Rangers, Super Sentai, anything like that. Like, because I usually just watch Common Rider and Ultraman, like I always say, that there's it feels fresh to me. Like, you know, like I don't have previous seasons to compare this to. I can't sit there and be like, oh, Zen is cool, but this was better. I don't have that like ability, I guess. So I'm really enjoying it. And that's really it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about Zen Kiger episode two. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see when more reviews, more Toku collection unboxings happen. Uh, I've been getting a little bit every week. I'm trying to slow down and doing instead of doing a little bit, just doing like a big bulk order. So I may do like one or two orders a month instead of one or two things every other week. Or if I see something in stores, obviously I'll pick it up. Um, cause I do believe one of my local shops where I've been getting all my Soto stuff is going to actually start having some of the Zen Kiger stuff for like the, the candy toys in this net. So I'm definitely going to be checking them out this weekend. I will have a video going live for that. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm going to, tr- as I learn more about Super Sentai and I watch the show more, the reviews are going to be more detailed in depth. Cause like I butcher a lot of names. I'm trying to get better at that. That One of my friends brought that up. He's like, hey, you're saying this wrong. You're saying that wrong. And I'm like, I apologize. Like, I, I, you know, I'm trying the best of my abilities to, you know, enunciate and pronounce. It's like, it's not, it's not, it's not that easy. Well, with that being said, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you also if you're listening to this on Under Name Mark Reviews podcast. 
And I will see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a great day.